Shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give all glory, all honor, and all praises unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakah Kadash, giving all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High, Heavenly Father, for this very moment. That's right. I want to give a Barakah Thaw the water to all of those who are being diligent inside of this truth. And they're being sincere about it. You can command this to the Most High Heavenly Fathers to the best of their abilities. And being sincere about it. As well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahushai, who is the Malak. And is always making known. It's all about the kingdom, baby. So all glory, all honor, and all praises be unto the Most High Heavenly Father. Before I go into this, I want to just make things known. In the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, when it says, you know, seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay. When we seek the kingdom, we seek it on a level and in, inwardly on what it means to be a righteous servant. No matter what the circumstances are. We still conduct ourselves as righteous servants. All right? Righteous servants. All right? So the title of this is, Do You Know Your Time? And that's a question. Do you know your time? Many of us believe that tomorrow's promised to us, let alone the very hour Matter of fact, let alone the very next five minutes or the next minute or the next killy second. Many don't think on a level with kingdom. But I'm praying that these words can be edified where it leads your mind into a place of exalting Yahab Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Kadash. Okay? So the question again do you know your time? Do you know your time? Inside the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, and verse 12, and what it states here For man also knoweth not his time. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare. So are the sons of men snared in an evil time. When it falleth suddenly upon them. You see? You don't know your time. To the men and to the women you don't know your time there's people who've been on deathbeds and miraculously was made whole there are people who are healthy and didn't wake up this morning the point i'm trying to make is that you don't know your time Stop playing with Yaha Bashim Yahusha. Bashim Kadash. Stop playing with them. There is spirits that are connected to vengeance that appeases the most high. When it comes down to the wicked doers, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the most high's chosen people. If you are watching this, take heed to these words. Take heed to these words. You don't know your time. So in this very day, this is something you want to take into consideration. Am I living for the Lord? Am I living what is connected to his will? Am I pleasing Yahabashim Yahusha? Am I pleasing the Heavenly Father Yahweh through His Word? Through His Word? 
through his word. That's why when you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, not your righteousness, his righteousness, all these things should be added unto you because you're taking heed and you're cleaving to his word. Okay, let's read this. It said mankind was created to live in the present. I like to say Yashiela was created to live in the present. Okay. The Lord Almighty, Yahweh Shah, the Almighty One, is the only one who has the ability to live in the past, present, and the future. The only one that has the ability to live in the past, present, and future. This is what makes Yahweh to be Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end through his word. So to understand Yahweh, you got to get inside of his word. Okay? We are say he's preparing me. But how much is he preparing you if you're not acknowledging what he has given to you in his word? So you can be able to follow through within what is connected to his will. I'm speaking to the men of the Lord and the women of the Lord. The ones who are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Who are considered to be God's chosen people who are the children of Israel the seed of Jacob okay he is the creator of the times seasons and events therein some events take place in our lives that be of evil and the Most High, he shows his grace by not allowing the evils to overtake us. But did you know at that very moment, when that moment was being established, that those evils will partake in your life at that moment? No. Many of the times, you don't. So going back into it, do you know your time? So going back into this, as children of Yahweh, we can only plan for the future and hope in the Lord. The word Lord means God's word, Yahweh's word. And we know Yahweh's word is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. The future, I mean, it was Salaki, that the future will be great. So as children of Yahweh, we can only plan for the future and hope in the Lord that the future will be great. Which we know in Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, he states that all things works out for the good of those that love Yahweh. Okay? We be diligent. So I'm here to make it known, keep pushing. Don't give up. Okay? It is good to be aware that there are good times and evil times. Why? Because in the scriptures, it, make, it makes it known that a prudent man foresees the what? The evil to come. And hideth himself. Okay? It is good to be aware that there are good times and evil times. It is our duty to pray for good times and acknowledge them, use them, and thank Yahweh when they come. Meaning, be grateful. It is also our duty to pray against the evil times and be fully prepared so that when they come, we can endure them. Thank Yahweh for grace and continue to praise Him for giving us life. You see? All right. He state, it states here, complaining during evil times only makes them worse. 
May Yahweh give you insight to know the times and seasons of your life. Hallelujah. Be time conscious. Okay? Meaning you want to be mindful of the times we are in. You want to be prudent. The Heavenly Father may head you to live another day just to be an example. It could be an example that is going to land in the hands of the evil ones. Or is there an example that's going to be in a place of exalting his name throughout the good things? Overall, both perspectives, both perspectives exalts his name. All right. One instills the fear within us while the other one helps us to be um, grateful. All right. So be be considerate of these times and where we are at and what we are also, you know, having ourselves to be involved within. Really, really take heed to this. So I'm gonna end it off with that. Call Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakakadash, Rakata, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.